Hey there, welcome back on this brand new video on iStock and the way how we can upload multiple videos in couple of minutes with the description, with keywords and all the required other stuff. So let's get started. First of all, all the resources, all the links which we will talk about in this video would be listed in the video description itself. So do check the video description. Moreover, we also have video tutorial courses. Links are also provided in the video description. So let's get started with this video where we will talk about bulk uploading of your stock photos on iStock. Now friends, moving forward, here is my profile where I have already uploaded 76 images and more images are being processed and would be available inside my portfolio, which is fantastic. And usually I am too busy to add some description, metadata, keywords so that the images will sell better. But I will tell you a couple of very interesting tips and tricks how you can upload like hundreds of images within a couple of minutes. Now, for example, in here, if I click on this image, then this image will load and you guys can purchase these images for a standard price. And the best thing about this is that the keywords are given in here. There are multiple keywords which I have used. Then I have given a specific name to this image and all of these things are done using some bulk processing. So how to upload bulk images is something which we will discuss. All right. Now, in order to sell images and videos on iStock, first of all, we need to sign up. So I will simply navigate to iStockphoto.com, which is the official website. And if I scroll down in here, we will find this link of sell stock. So click on this link. This will redirect you to this particular link. And inside this link, you can like scroll down and you can apply. If you click on this apply button, this will again ask you for your personal details, first name, last name, email address. You need to confirm the email address. You need to select your country and then you need to continue. Let me fill in all of these stuff real quick. Here we go. And let me update email because I have already signed up with this email. And if I agree and click on continue, then this will open up a new page. So the form would be submitted and in here you need to submit few images and few videos and you can also add in some illustration and you need to submit these. Now friends, it is not mandate to upload images, videos and illustration. You can simply upload couple of images only. In here you can upload up to 15 images. Then I will simply click on this browse your computer button or I will drag and drop a photo in this box. So let me do that. I will select this one photo and I will drag and drop it inside this box. The photo would be uploaded in couple of seconds. And once it is uploaded, iStock will process it little further and we need to add in the photo title description and then we can click on this button add to application. All right, so one photo has been added into your application and we need to repeat this step. And for example, my suggestion would be to add like at least five to six photos. It would be better for your application. Let me do it for the next photo again. Here we go. And again, we need to give the title, the description. All right, so this is showing a snapshot and uh, then we can again click on this add to application button and similarly you can add multiple images and once everything is done then we can finally click on this button which says submit application. Now friends as you submit your application it will take a couple of days before iStock will get back to you and they will let you know whether your images and videos and illustrations are good enough or not. And if your content is good, then they will approve your account and you can like uh, start selling your images using iStock platform. So once you submit your application, wait a couple of days. Once your application has been approved, then what we need to do is something which we will see in a minute. Now friends, once your account is approved and for example, you log in into your iStockphoto.com account, you won't be able to upload images directly. And the reason is pretty simple. iStockphoto.com give you a platform for purchasing and not uploading your custom photos. 
the link for uploading your photos is different the link i will be providing this link in the video description so do check it the link is esp.gittyimages.com slash sign in you can sign in into your account and once you sign in you will get a whole new a different interface now friends here is the interface using which you can upload images now friends if i click on this my content link in here we have this link upload and review content then let me show you it will load and take couple of seconds because my internet connection isn't very great in here you would be able to see that i have already uploaded 47 plus 94 images out of which 29 are submitted and reviewed and out of 94 61 are reviewed and submitted so this is my interface and if i navigate back and go to my home page which is esp.gittyimages.com then in here we have these other tool the most important and the most useful tool which i suppose is this q hero if i click on this q hero this is an ai powered interface for gitty images and this helps a lot this helps in uploading images directly on gitty images which is nothing but the parent company for iStock and your images would be directly posted and available on iStock so using this Q hero you can definitely do great stuff and all the images which you can see under my profile is uploaded by making use of Q hero so very cool stuff let me show you and you can sign up the sign up process is pretty simple I have already signed up let me sign in into Q hero definitely you need to sign up explicitly for uh, Q hero as well now in here you can see there are a couple of notifications for me there are two batches now let me show you quickly how you can upload batch images and create these batches first of all let me give you a very important tip whenever you for example navigate to a holiday or you have a photo shoot do try to club and batch your images based on their property and keep them in separate folders for example in here we have visited james bond island which is located at thailand so all the images related to james bond island i have batched them and kept them in a separate folder likewise we have this folder where i have images which are taken and these all images are of C so we have batched them and kept them inside a folder by the name of C this will definitely help you out why because as I have batched them I can make some batch processing I can give same title and I can generate the keywords based on AI all right so let's proceed further let me show you how i can batch process and the best example which i can give is a natural beach evening all of these images are similar all of these images are taken at the time of evening and these are from the beach side all right so let me navigate to q hero and in here we have this upload files button and two options so i will create a new batch it would be based on creative images i will click on next batch name would be test or uh, i will give the name as demo let me click on next now in here i can drag or drop files or i can browse let me drag and drop in order to save some time i will take a rather easy example i will take the example of boathouse maybe so i will drag and drop all of these files in here and note that the checkbox for pre-select AI generated keywords is checked as a result these images would be reviewed by AI and artificially by taking help of artificial intelligence some keywords would be generated which is amazing right so all the keywords headache would be taken care by AI itself and we need not to worry about those it will take couple of seconds to upload let me pause this video all right so almost done here we go now all the images has been uploaded and if you notice there are a couple of lines which are denoted by red font right so red color text are the thing which we need to upload now in here 
For example, I click on this first image. These many keywords are auto fetched, which is amazing, right? And you can definitely check and uncheck some keywords. If there are a couple of keywords you don't want to use, you can definitely uncheck them. If there are a couple of keywords you want to add explicitly, again, you can do it. You simply need to like type in that, for example, boathouse, this boat keyword would be added and you can definitely check, uncheck and do whatever you want to do. All right. So this is one thing apart from that, for example, I need to type in like boat house. Then I would like to add some description. Now this is like a cumbersome process. Individually, I need to add some description, some title, then we need to select countries. Then I need to select the release, which is a cumbersome process. Better thing would be, I will be clicking on this link, which says select all. As soon as I click on select all, all the six images in this batch would be selected. Then I will, for example, say the name as boathouse and I will select this option, six selected files and I will apply. As a result, we have given the name for all the selected images, which is amazing, right? So a batch processing, then we can click on this insert a description link. We can add some description, right? And again, we can select on this option, six selected files. If the description needs to be same, then again, we can add these description, which is good. Then finally, for example, we select in the country, country is Thailand. And finally, we can click on this add releases link. And for example, we will mark it as done. Releases are, we need to notify that whether there are people in these images or not and other kind of things. And you can click on this add new release or use an existing release. Moreover, I am not experienced on this term releases, what exactly this does, but definitely there would be an impact. And if you need to add in these additional and optional thing, you can also select these things like this. All right. For me, I will click on mark as done link. Now, all of the stuff has been loaded into these six images. And then finally we can submit. And as soon as we submit, those would be reviewed by iStock team. And these images would be directly available under your portfolio, which is amazing. And this is how we can like upload and do all of these stuff. And this is amazing. Now the most important trick which I can share is batching out images. If you like batch out your images, you categorize them using folders, then it becomes extremely simple. For example, I have uploaded all of these 38 images within minutes, within two to three minutes, which is amazing, right? And uh, this is it, how easily, how we can do. I won't submit this batch because I have already uploaded these images into my portfolio. So I will simply clear them rather. All right, so this is it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me delete this batch. So do subscribe to the channel if you found this video to be useful.